Yeah, we're uh, we're going uh, to Facebook. Come on, Lynn. Lynn came from Alabama to see me in London. He's posing for Mobile. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Get the hell in here and take your seats. Shit is about to go down. And stay down. Um, it's so nice to be here in, in what is, without question, my, my favorite room in London. Um, it, feel, it always feels like coming home, although it kind of feels weird not having a Christmas tree just there. That's, uh, that's another story. Um, so, uh, we've got, we got a very exciting evening of, of rock mayhem planned for you, and uh, it's going to start with um, uh, my very special guest. I'm very privileged, honoured, and, uh, and so happy to, to have him here to open the show. I met um, Abe in Arnhem in the Netherlands uh, quite randomly, and thought he was magnificent, and then we, we kept in touch. When I was putting this tour together, I thought... Um, it would be great to introduce you all uh, to him and his, and his wonderful talent. So um, enough of my yabbering on. Please be very welcoming and nurturing and nuzzling for my, my dear friend all the way from Mobile, Alabama, Abe Partridge. <laughs> Probably the prettiest place I ever played music in. <laughs> Blues, just as sad as a white boy. 
Cause the blues ain't gonna get you Out of Alabama Then last night your band it was high And tonight they're even better But the blues ain't gonna get you
And when I was 25 years old, I started pastoring a Baptist church in the mountains of Kentucky. And then whenever I was 27 years old, I lost my mind. I started writing songs. And then whenever I was 35 years old, I started a rock and roll band. And this is a song I wrote about. I hope you like it. It's called No Teacher Blues. Well, I bought me a guitar at the corner pawn shop.
still teaching the blues And Nashville's been taken by these business suits I'll just play it like I feel it, let it come from my soul Cause you don't need no teacher to rock and roll When we 
were out on And so I'll just lace up my boots Like I did the last hundred days And feel the sting of the Arabian sun That the good guys and the bad guys We ain't so easily defined so easily defined
tired of trying to repent And when Sunhouse played the blues He played them in the trumpets And so there ain't but one thing left for me to do I'm gonna join Sunhouse and go to Preaching the blues I'll join Sunhouse
if it were not for this individual named Beethoven. And we would certainly not have the White Album if Paul McCartney never met John Lennon. And I said, well, maybe that's my problem. I miss my Lennon. Somehow that chance to pass me by. And that's the reason I'm standing here singing this stupid song and losing my freaking mind. And then even this stranger thought of my tortured mind began to ponder. Lord, I wonder what if Einstein would have met McCartney first while John Lennon was studying the great wonders. I ain't saying it would have been the Beatles, man, but it would have been interesting to see what they put out because I know that Einstein had some pretty cool hair, but I wonder if he could twist and shout. And maybe if Einstein had been singing, oh, blah, day, oh, blah, da, instead of drafting the letter to Roosevelt that paved the way for a nuclear bomb, then a little boy Nagasaki could have married a pretty young girl from Hiroshima. They could have sang oh, all blah, dee, blah, dah, together and taught their children songs by the Beatles. And I can't imagine that the guy that wrote Imagine would have been any use in a science lab, lest that lab had the sole purpose of giving world peace a chance. So we gotta get Lennon to science and Einstein to McCartney. We gotta find a way to get back in time. But then I realized if we ever Anyway, that's enough talking. 
David's going to join me on my last song here. Thank you all. I've been a great audience. This is a song called Colors. I hope you like
us won't understand it, but our love.